what is up everybody all right here and we are checking out swarm grinder the 1.0 release that's right this game is coming out to 1.0 uh we played this game a little bit i've i haven't played a lot of this and it was months ago when we did it we only did like maybe one or two videos on it but i did enjoy what i played but it was still either i can't remember if it was just an early access or a prologue so I'm not I'm not quite sure, but the game is going to it's actually not out yet. I got access to 1.0 early. I believe April 22nd is when the release is officially out. So let's kind of see what this game has to offer, because one, I again, I haven't played this game in months, so <laughs> I don't really remember it. Too. I definitely remember the gameplay premise, because how could you? It's pretty unique with the whole egg hatching mechanic and things like that. But in terms of meta upgrades it looks like we have we have like a damage increase max health movement speed we got a little bit into max health here no regeneration uh we got some extra fuel increases uh fuel consumption and then we have nothing in, in this uh in this loot tier so there is some meta progression uh there is a garage with different types of robots i guess you can call them um you can either play as bullet storm or the butcher uh i guess we'll just kind of play as all our characters are rank one it looks like you can up upgrade maybe some different parts for these two um not exactly sure what these are gonna do but those are there uh so let's play as we'll start out as the normal character uh the butcher um let's see there's a codex with all the different things you can unlock there's a few things that are locked here uh, I don't know if they unlock for us later. Uh, who knows? Hopefully they do. Uh, let's jump into the game. Ooh, okay. So we get our character. So we're just gonna play as Bullet Storm. Each consecutive bullet fired from the same magazine of the Gatling gun inflicts one more point of damage than the previous one. Uh, we get two overcharges. One is going to be a movement speed and one is going to be an attack speed. Base health of 100 and movement speed of one. Uh, this guy is a little bit faster, but less health. Okay, and then we have three maps to start off with. I guess we're just going to do the basics. We have evolutions. Um, I, uh, these are all locked. Yeah, of course they're locked. Uh, these are probably maybe difficulties. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. And then let's see, we have gadgets. Uh, we only have one gadget at the moment. Okay, so our main goal right here is going to be survive for five minutes with bullet storm and then we'll get 50 bio shards let's jump in and play we're gonna be using the controller so let's see is there there is a dash so what i remember about this game is uh you're hatching eggs <laughs> uh you're moving through the world and as you move through the world you hatch these eggs uh you need to uncover these areas to drop these mines or drills whatever you want to call them and then I think you have to do that a certain amount of times, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, so what do we want to take? I don't even remember what these abilities are. Uh, let's do feather blades. Uh, shoots blades at nearby enemies. Uh, sure, we'll just take that. So how many do we have to do? 25? Um, the red eggs are going to spawn bad guys, as far as I remember. The normal eggs don't spawn anybody. It's definitely a mechanic that I I very much well remember. So even even though I've only played this game once, uh, it definitely was not uh, forgettable. And okay, we can do the Gatling gun. Oh, we get a did we get to pick these upgrades before? I think we did. Um, let's do attack speed and decrease cooldown. So this is going to give us more fuel consumption, though. Uh, I can't quite remember what happens when our fuel cons consumption runs out. Um, you do have to manage your fuel, though. Maybe you start losing health or you take more damage. I'll be honest, I, I don't remember. I wish uh, I don't know if this game has a tutorial tutorial or not. Um, but if it does, you probably want to go through it. <laughs> OK, we're going to take scattershot. Uh, this is going to be another ability. Shoots deadly projectiles in a spiral pattern.
I don't think there's any XP in this game either. You get all your abilities from uh, from mining or whatever you want to call this. Oh, and then there's the beacons, which will give you power-ups if you're within them. Or satellites, whatever you want to call these. So this one's going to give me a cooldown station. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, but that was... That was from playing too much Deep Rock Galactic. I walked right into it thinking that's how I was going to get it. So that was definitely uh, some muscle memory. <laughs> okay, let's do crit chance for our feather blades. So yeah, I, I don't really remember much about this game. I'm, I'm not going to be an expert and be able to tell you all the best builds and strategies. We're just, we're checking back in with this game to to see how it is, see if we like it. I do remember really like, oh, well, I don't know what that was. That sounds dangerous though. Do we have a dash? Oh, we do have a dash. Okay, I gotta remember that. I don't know how we did that. But yeah, this is this game is super unique. Uh, I, there's no real other, um, see, I was gonna go touch it again. There's really no other roguelikes that I think have this. Kind of mechanic. Uh, let's upgrade our feather blades. Let's see. Blade count? Sure, let's try that. So we have two different abilities right now. We have just the feather blades, and we have our spiral gun, and then we have our standard Gatling gun. Oh, your fuel is running out without fuel mag. Hold on. Your fuel is running out. Without fuel, magnets will fail and the mecha will fall apart slowly. Okay, so we need to get more more fuel, apparently. How do I get more fuel? Just killing enemies, I think. So that means we need to push the pace. We can't... I guess you can't... You kind of can't just stand in one area. I don't remember what these do. Maybe these give us some meta progression stuff. Let's do Arsenal. I don't remember what these do. An all-around passive skill. Uh, active skill damage. Oh, so it's going to give all our active skills 20% damage. So Gatling Gun, Feather Blades, and Scattershot. Um, sure, let's take that. Uh, how do I... What do I do? Hold on. I got out of something. I want to destroy this because I want to see what it gives. Wait, what did it give? Did we... I, were we too close to pick it up? I think it does give us some meta progression. Like, maybe it's that gym at the bottom or the dice. I can't remember exactly what it gives you. So there's different meters for your fuel, too. Uh, I, again, I don't know exactly what all that means. So if we do lose fuel, if we do run out of fuel, we do start taking damage. Uh, but maybe if we keep it up, we get bonuses or something. I don't know. Okay, let's do scatter shot. Increases pierce count. Let's do pierce count. Okay, let's come down here and get our next little area. Oh, we have an incoming. Oh, we have an incoming wave. Okay. So maybe that's what that thing was where the... Remember when all the things got destroyed? That's probably what that was. So I think a whole bunch of these are about to get destroyed. Yep. Oh, there's some sort of bull. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget we can dash. Don't forget we can dash. Okay, let's do the Gatling gun again. Um... Each missing health probably sounds good, but let's do a uh, magazine size. Because we're actually missing health, so. Oh yeah, I think like maybe we're overcharged now because we have the blue meter, right? So maybe that means we do more damage. That's probably, that's kind of what I'm gonna guess. 
Man, it takes a lot to keep your fuel consumption up. But we also, maybe we have too many abilities that decrease our fuel consumption. Maybe we need to manage that better somehow with different abilities or passives, I don't know. Okay, let's see what Lucky Charm does. Increases crit damage and crit chance on enemies. It also adds new features to crit hits. So it's basically going to give us 8% to everything. I love that it shows you what the crit chance is for all your abilities. So let's do that. Crit stuff is generally pretty good in most games. Oh yeah, so we're consuming 8.5 fuel a second. That seems like a lot. You definitely don't want to get trapped because you kind of, it staggers your movement when you get hit. I don't know what the red one means. Maybe it's just like an elite or something. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh yeah, that is sort of an elite. Did we summon an elite because of that? Also, I don't think these are different rarities either. Um, no, see, like, it tells me the... Can I not... I don't want to... Like, what if I don't want to pick this ability? Is it too late? So I'm trying to hit B, but then it takes me here. So this just shows me. I, I don't think I can back out once I pick an ability, right? I don't think so. Okay, let's do the ricochet. Game's pretty good though. This is this is definitely it's a solid, very solid game, um, and I think it I think it is going to be a pretty good one if if you want to pick this up. I don't know how much it is right now, but I would imagine it's probably ten dollars or less. That's just a guess. Um, let's see. Let's do crit chance by fifteen percent. gotta be something that increases my fuel consumption though, right? Or decre I, I guess decreases it? Like in an item or an ability or something? I don't know. I guess it's not like super hard to keep your fuel up, but man, we're only, we're not even halfway done with this run yet. We have 11 out of 25. Hold on, another problem solved with bullets and more. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do scatter shot. Oh, that's because we killed the boss. Um, let's do piercing on our scatter shot. Wait, is this another? Oh, we get like a couple free upgrades. Um, let's do crit chance by 10%. Okay, then we'll do our lucky charm and we'll do more. Oh, cool. So this does more than just crit. Um, let's see. See, all these increase your fuel consumption. Nothing decreases it. Increases blades crit chance by 8%. Increase rapid fire skills crit. Uh, crit increases by for every fuel. What does that mean? Crit damage increases by 0.3 for every current fuel. So by how much fuel I have? I don't know exactly what that means. Like since I have 
Can I see my my global stats? I don't know if I can see my global stats. So like this is a crit chance. Yeah, I think that's just the base. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know where it counts my fuel. Because it's definitely not each fuel I pick up, because then I just got like 5% crit right there. It's definitely a balance, too, of managing, um, of moving forward while still trying next wave in 30 seconds. Okay. While moving forward, managing how many enemies are on the screen at once, your fuel consumption, <laughs> it's, and, and fighting. Uh, there, there's a lot to, there's a lot you have to pay attention to with this one. And that's good. I, that's, that's definitely a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, let's do... Damage increases by 0.5 for every shot. Cooldown, crit chance. Let's do crit chance again. 15% crit chance seems like a lot. Oh, wait, we're going to have our next wave. Yikes. Let's do the gap again. again. Um... Increases, let's do the attack speed. Damage increases by 5% every shot. No, let's do that one. We got all the big guys out now. These guys are gonna be hard to kill. I wonder how long we're meant to survive with hardly any meta upgrades. I'm imagining not very long, because I have a feeling we're going to die here pretty soon. I'm not killing these guys very quickly, you know? So I doubt we're going to survive much longer, and my fuel's about to run out. You have no fuel left. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. I can't kill these guys quick enough. We can try hatching little eggs, but... I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Oh, no. It didn't last long enough. Okay, we're kind of back in this. Get decent fuel levels. Okay, let's do... So we're at five of six, so are we gonna get like an ultimate if we level this, keep leveling this up? Um, let's see, increases magazine size by 100%. So these are, these are different. Are these different types or is this just because they're level three? Cause I'm trying to think if this is like a legendary upgrade, but I think it's just because maybe it's level three because see how this one's gold and this one's gray. Uh, so let's see. Increases magazine size by 100%. Also increases firing angle by 25% and range by 50%. Increases rapid fire damage by 50%. Let's do this one because we have that, um... Right? Because I have that, um... Damage increases by 5% every shot. Right? So that means if I have a bigger magazine size... I increase the damage every time. Every bullet gets a little bit stronger. If I'm understanding that correctly. I kinda wanna destroy these, cause I wanna make sure that we get whatever meta progression we're supposed to be getting. These guys are definitely getting increasingly hard to kill. Okay, it's 
So let's see. Gatling gun shoots twice with 40% angle. Increases Gatling gun's damage by 1.5 and attack speed by one while below 50% health. Or increases ricochet. This one's gonna, what does it mean it's gonna shoot twice? So am I gonna have like two Gatling guns? Cause that sounds pretty good. Or we could just take our ricochet by two. So now it's gonna ricochet everything by two. This one's only good if we have less health. So let's think about these ones. Gatling gun shoots twice. I don't know, I guess, let's just do the ricochet, because I know what the ricochet is going to do. I just assume, I, I assume it's probably going to mean I have two Gatling guns. That was, that's my guess. Damage station. Do increases seeking power bullets. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Enables after burst. Uh, fire six more projectiles when magazine empties. After burst bullets deal more damage. Let's do the seeking power. So that's gonna kind of give them a, a little bit of a homing, I guess, but not full on homing. Yeah, that's not. That seems pretty good though. Yeah, I, I want to hang, just hang out in that damage station the whole time, but I can't do that. These stations are so useful, maybe I should find a way to mobilize them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love the little hints. Uh, yeah, that's probably some sort of upgrade later on then, huh? Okay, let's come back up here. Like, I like clearing the area and then coming in here and then killing everything. Okay, let's do Gatling Gun again. Okay, so these are, let's do by 50%. How much more do we have? Seven more? damage for every current fuel every five seconds the damage has 1.5 crit damage increases crit damage by 40 uh, I kind of want to just take this one because the turbo crits don't increase my fuel consumption for right now I was going to say when would we clear that okay so we've pretty much maxed out our our uh, Gatling gun. So what does this mean? Is this like our ultimate? I think that was kind of like our ultimate upgrade and then these were our other upgrades. I appreciate that these scorpions just kind of circle around me too and don't charge at me. 
Makes it a lot easier to kill those ones. Okay, we're almost there. Five more? Yeah, this is going to be our last Gatling gun upgrade. Decreases global cooldown of everything by 10%. But I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade that anymore, because I think we have everything maxed out now. Oh, there's another bolt. I don't know what the bolts are, but I've collected two out of three. Oh, there is an end to the map, huh? I think actually, I think this might be it. And then I think if I remember, the last one is just kind of like the boss. Um, there's a bolt right here, but let's see if we can get this bolt. Okay, I got all three bolts. I don't know what that does. Oh, we only have feather blades left to upgrade, huh? Okay, let's do. Crit chance. I mean, I guess we're going to see all the upgrades eventually, right? Oh, there's two of them there. Increases count of all blades. Oh, don't get stuck there. We definitely can't choke this at the end. We at least need to see the boss. Oh, oh, was that because I'm did we kill a boss or an elite or something? That was because I was pretty sure we didn't upgrade everything. OK, let's do. I'm going to do that one again. Increase the crit damage or whatever by fuel you have. Because I can just tell my fuel is running out super really quick here. Shot. Um, increases rapid fire skills magazines. Oh, okay. So there's, yeah, we need to, okay. So let's do this one then. Let's increase our magazine size. That's going to increase our fuel consumption. Or this one's going to increase duration by 40%, decrease projectile speed. This one gives us pierce. Let's do this one. Let's take the, that fuel consumption, I guess. And see, look how fast my fuel goes down. I love it. I love the mechanics and the strategy of it. But you have to keep pushing. <laughs> you can't, if you're low on health and you're low on fuel, too bad. <laughs> too bad. You have to you clear the last field. Is that what that said? Like, you have to keep pushing no matter what. Um, let's see. Oh, man, this is all going to increase. Okay, let's increase our rapid fire skills. Sure, let's do that by 10%. Okay, so last one, where is it at? Okay, it's down here.
Oh no, that, oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 that was right before the final. Was that, a, no, 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 no. Oh man, what happened there? That was the final wave? That we didn't even unlock the boss. I think that was just a wave. Oh, I totally got caught there. Oh man, we were about to see the boss too and I died right before it. Oh man. Man, we did, did we not upgrade Arsenal at all? I feel like I didn't see upgrades for that really. We upgraded this the most and this. Okay, what sort of damage did we do? Oh, it doesn't break out our damage. It just says to oh, it's, okay, this is our total damage. So we did 233,000 with this, 134 with feathers, and then 80,000. So yeah, this one clearly did the most because we got all of these. We basically maxed this guy out. We got rank three, rank three, rank three, and then we got our ultimate. And then we got rank three, two, and one. And then we got rank two, one, and one. So yeah, makes sense that this one did the most damage, but everything else seemed to do comparable for about the amount of points we put into it, you know? Cool, okay, good game. Um, let's go back to lobby and see if anything happens. Um, workshop, we got 114, so let's do things like... Um, I wanna do like fuel consumption stuff. Is there any fuel consumption? Increases max fuel. Decreases fuel consumption in overcharge state. Increases maximum trigger range. So this is going to let me hold more fuel and this is going to decrease. So when we're in overcharge, we drain less, but overall we're not going to otherwise. Uh, knockback distance, explosive skills, active skills. How much does this cost? 30? I not do I have to oh I have to buy a point I think I think that's how that works is that how that works yeah so I have a point now I can put in here okay so the next one costs 40 so let's actually buy a couple points here or I guess we could just buy one <laughs> um let's do health regen okay so it is gonna take a little bit of time to max out everything they get progressively more expensive each time. So this is, you need 10, 4, 4, and then this one's already maxed out. So yeah, you probably, obviously, you probably want to put your points right into Chariot right away. Because those are the easiest ones to get. Like, automatically just increase your health by 15%. Global damage by 20%. So these three are definitely the first three. And then everything else is more supplemental. Okay, well, cool. There we go. Um, nothing else in here. Nothing new in here. We didn't unlock, like, any new parts or anything. Uh, there we go. Swarm Grinder. 1.0 release out April 22nd. Very solid game. I know a lot of people have played this and enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad to come back to it. We'll probably keep playing this game a little bit more, too. Uh, so it'll stay in the rotation for a little bit leading up to release and a little bit afterwards. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.